The most essential ingredient required to make sourdough bread is a healthy and lively sourdough starter, which is simply the result of fermenting flour and water together before using it to bake your bread. And not only does a healthy and active starter produce bread with that lovely sourdough taste that we all love, but it also provides many gut healthy benefits from all the fermented bacteria, enzymes, yeasts, and acids that you've awakened within. And luckily, as you're about to see, making a sourdough starter is incredibly simple. However, to ensure that you don't mess this up, in addition to following along here, I do recommend that you download the sourdough startup guide that I've created, linked in the description below. This will ensure that you stay on track with your feedings, which you're about to learn all about. And just in general, provide you with the greatest chance of success throughout this entire delicious process. Now, as mentioned in the first video in this series, to provide you with more insights into the process and more variables that often occur, I'll both be making a sourdough starter using the standard wheat flour, which is typically used to make sourdough bread, and a wheat-free option using rye flour. So, choose the flour that you like best, as the process is generally the same, regardless of your choice. Okay, enough talk. Let's get the sourdough starter started. Start, start. Step one, sanitization. Before you begin the creation of this new flowery life, you will want to ensure that your equipment is sterilized to ensure that no bad bacteria are added into the mix here. And to do so, simply just boil a large pot of water and submerge your equipment into the boiling water for roughly five to 10 minutes to kill off any bad bread killing bugs that may be lurking there. Now, once boiled, leave your equipment out to dry and you're ready to go. Step two, feeding schedule. One of the most important and maybe overlooked considerations when beginning this process is to choose a start time that works for you. Keeping in mind that once you begin this process, you will need to feed and tend to your starter every 12 hours. So before you start your bread alchemy, ask yourself, what time is it now? And will I be awake and available to tend to my starter 12 hours from now? This is why I recommend starting this process either earlier in the morning or late at night, so you can avoid having to wake up to stir flour in a jar like a crazy person past midnight. Step three, the first mix. Now that you've cleaned your gear, chosen a start time that works for you, and written it out in your sourdough startup guide linked in the description below, it's now time to create your sourdough starter. And watch how simple this is. Simply add a half cup of flour to your jar. Next, add half a cup of water. And finally, grab your sanitized mixing tool of choice and mix away, my friends. Ensuring you give it a good stir to hydrate all that flour while adding in some generous amounts of air throughout this process. This will ensure better yeast production that'll give your final bread some more impressive fluff and flavor. And once this is complete, Simply cover your jar with a clean, breathable cloth and secure it with an elastic or a canning ring. And that's it. At this point, you just leave this creation out on the counter at room temperature, ideally stated to be around 65 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit or 16 to 29 degrees Celsius. But who's measuring, right? And ensure that you return every 12 hours to repeat the feeding process, which we will cover in the next video, which is indeed essential to continue to nurture this starter to life. And before you start up the next video, I do recommend that you clean and prepare your equipment for the next feeding, track your start time in the startup guide linked below, and set an alarm for 12 hours from now so that you don't forget to feed your starter. And then of course, join me in the next video where I'll be sharing the feeding schedule required to keep your starter alive and well. I look forward to seeing you there.